Hi, this is Dr. Tim Langley. I'm a chiropractor in Marietta, Georgia. Uh, I want to talk to you for just a minute about uh, a problem in uh, uh, in the chiropractic profession, but one that uh, has uh, far greater implications uh, throughout uh, the country and uh, throughout uh, health care uh, altogether. The state of New Mexico is considering uh, giving chiropractors prescription rights. In other words, they'd, they'd write prescriptions for uh, <clears throat> various drugs and so forth, just like your medical doctor would do. Um, you know, why this uh, would happen, I, I don't know. You know, a lot of times we get so busy taking care of people and trying to keep people healthy and out of harm's way uh, that we take our eyes off of those within our own professions, uh, whether it be chiropractic or whatever, who want to set rules that benefit a very small group of people. Uh, Personally, I believe that uh, having chiropractors prescribe drugs is, is one sends the wrong uh, message to and from our profession. But I believe in the long run, it could be very dangerous to uh, public health. Uh, this move is, is uh, really being pushed by a very, very, very tiny number of uh, people within our profession uh, who want to be more like, quote unquote, real doctors. Uh, you know, my my feeling is that if you want to be a, a real doctor, i.e. a medical doctor, you'd do it uh, through the front door. You'd do it the legitimate way. You'd go to a medical school and learn how to diagnose um, and uh, prescribe and understand the pharmacology uh, instead of getting a chiropractic degree uh, and then taking a few weekend seminars uh, and, uh, and then being able to call yourself a quote-unquote real doctor. It's, uh, you know, we practice uh, hands-on chiropractic and a simple principle way to remove interference in how your body operates so that it functions better and so that you can be healthier and obviously without drugs or without surgery. But this small element within our profession uh, has pretty much taken over our, uh, our education accreditation process uh, and uh, is, is trying to sneak into the medical profession uh, without earning the right to have done so. Uh, if you're a state legislator anywhere in the United States and you see any of this st stuff coming up, I would urge you to uh, oppose it. If you're a, a medical practitioner, I would encourage you to uh, talk to your state medical association and get together with the principal chiropractic group in your state and let's oppose these things. If you're a principal chiropractor anywhere across America, I would encourage you to uh, get to know some of the people on, on the, the uh, State Medical Association, get to know your legislators, um, get to know your chiropractic board of examiners members, and let's oppose this. You know, in, in my state of Georgia, uh, the, one of the associations is, is urging the state to legislate uh, that only chiropractors can adjust or quote unquote manipulate. One, chiropractors do not manipulate. Uh, we adjust the spine to remove interference so the body can function better. Um, you know, it's funny that, that chiropractors want to uh, keep other uh, healthcare professionals from adjusting the spine or manipulating the spine, yet uh, for so long we've been uh, delving into areas of medicine, physical therapy, and, uh, and, and so many other things. You know, maybe we need to get back to uh, to our proper role in uh, in chiropractic and just adjust the spine and let these other professions do what they do, and um, and then we wouldn't have to worry about them creeping into into our realm. So this is Dr. Tim Langley. I'm a, a family chiropractor, a principal chiropractor in Marietta, Georgia. If I can answer any questions that you might have about the chiropractic scope of practice or uh, the concept that we use here, the membership practice, an all-cash, membership-only kind of practice, uh, or just how to simplify your life as a chiropractor, I'd love to hear from you. Uh, again, Dr. Tim Langley, uh, chiropractor in Marietta, Georgia.